It's even a, uh, I think an Asian doctor over here, some somewhere over here. But I'm just saying, man, right here. You can barely see it, but it's there unless they move. But I'm just saying, like niggas, are always, we, we, to me, I just feel like we be worried about the wrong shit. There you go, right there. That's actually the doctor's office right there. But we be worried about the wrong shit. And the reason why I said we do is because niggas be, we be, look, a nigga will go to a fucking black business and be worried about what that black owner is spending on their money, spending on, like, the money they made. You worried about that instead of being worried about, man, how else could I be beneficial to this black business? You worried about what they're spending the money on. But when you go into a white business, you're not asking that white owner. First of all, you're not going to get to the white owner. You're not, because it's going to be a conglomerate. It's going to be, niggas going to be so much red tape before you get to an owner. Nigga, you're never getting to an owner. What the fuck are you talking about? But with us, we always got, what you spending money on? Ah, man, I ain't fuck that business. All sorts of stuff. We don't want to be patient with black businesses. We do not want to be patient. But we are super patient at Jack in the Box and Taco Bell. But we don't want to be patient with everything else. That shit blows my mind. All those H these niggas got Spring Mountain sold up from Valley View and Spring Mountain all the way to damn near Rainbow and Spring Mountain. Nothing but Asian businesses. Nothing but Asian businesses. West Side, we got Doolittle. Mario's doesn't even count. That's owned by a Latino. That doesn't even count. My question is, how many black businesses are you going to see in these areas, man? And how many of us is going to worry about banding together instead of like, that's all I'd be like, man, you read Dr. Clyde Edison's book? Nigga be like, nah, you need to read that shit. Because you definitely worried about the wrong shit. And everybody has their own differences of opinion, but a lot of niggas ain't read nothing, so they just go off what somebody done told them. That's why I was mad when I looked at the Google reviews about Annie's. Niggas was just in the comments. Niggas was having something to say about the nigga that worked there. The cool brother that worked there. Cool ass brother. Oh man, he rude. No, nigga. You a nigga. He ain't supposed to be smiling with you. Nigga, his job is to smile with the women. Not you, nigga. And I had to, I had to respond that way on there like, what bitch ass niggas on here talking about, man, the nigga's rude as fuck. Nigga, you a nigga. He don't know if you there to eat or if you there to rob. So, nigga, damn. <laughs> I just, it, 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 it's, it's frustrating because we too busy worrying about the wrong stuff. But as you drive around Las Vegas, Nevada, you're going to see, nigga, they don't fuck with you the way you think they do. Wait till we start going in these different communities. That's going to be the next thing. We start going in these communities and see how many black folks own homes versus everybody else. Then you gonna really see like, damn man, like, no nigga, they don't fuck with you. That Bank of America shit. Oh, we got loans for black people. And I was like, man, get the fuck out of here, nigga. What you mean loans? Why don't you just give us the fucking house, nigga? You owe us reparations anyway. That's not helping us. Man, stop worrying about if other people gonna fight for reparations, nigga. You fight for the reparations. And for all these niggas up here, man, we will never get that shit. They get the fuck on, nigga. And I'll take yours too. And them gonna be the very niggas when they actually decide to give it to us. Oh shit, I want mine too. Nah, man. I want my black feet, but I like what Roxanne said. I like nice shit too. I just like a sale. <laughs> and I like what she said. I want all my black folk to have nice stuff and drive nice cars, have nice clothes. I just want us to have intrinsic value in us. So when a black person makes it, we have to have more value in us. Stop having value in what somebody else made. Stop praising Balenciaga. Balenciaga don't give a fuck about no niggas. So if you want to go get it, go get it. You want, I'm not tripping off that. All I'm saying is restore that value in your own. Meaning like, man, recycle your black dollars. I don't give a fuck what you got going on. What you fucking with? That, that's your personal business. We talking about recycling the black dollar. How many times Dr. Clyde, Dr. Clyde Anderson talks about the money bouncing in our neighborhood? Nigga, it don't bounce in our neighborhood like it bounces in the Latino neighborhood. Nigga, I, we went to the Latino neighborhood. Don't have me go back over there again. Nigga, and we didn't even really go in the heart of the Latino neighborhood. Nigga, their money is bouncing. 
You go to Asia, we just came to Asia. Their money is bouncing. It was cars everywhere. You go to Summerlin, their money's bouncing. You go to the West Side, they take their money. They spend all you got Mick Devils, Panda Express, Jack in the Box. You got all these businesses that are not black owned. And nobody, because nobody, I, I don't think people understand it as well. I think people just think it's some like a game or that's just the way it's always been. Nigga, that's why you got councilmen. That's why you got commissioners. For all of us that are in Las Vegas, Nevada, we got Clark County commissioners and city councilmen. And they don't give a fuck about no niggas. So don't be going out there and vote for these people and these people ain't doing nothing for us at all. They're the, they're the people that give you the zoning. They're the people that can, okay, I'm going to zone this off so we can have these many black businesses. They don't care about that because ain't nobody talking about that shit. Because niggas is too busy trying to floss on each other. That's what I'm saying, man. I, I, man, I ain't even really want to go over there and do that because that shit, that shit irritates me, man. And then now, now the black folk that are out here, that's been out here putting in the work, all my, shout out to all my Las Vegans, the natives. I'm not native, but nigga, I've been coming out here since 85, nigga. So, nigga, I'm grandfathered in. The people that's been putting in the work, the blood, sweat, and tears, and all the people, now we got to be competing with all these motherfuckers coming from California? Take your asses back. Don't run out here. We got work to do out here, and if you ain't out here to do work, man, get the fuck on. I'm done.